It's time for story time. 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 Good morning. How are you today? I'm glad to hear that. Today's story is Pet Show. Pet Show. It's by Ezra Jack Keats. This is a paperback book. Here is the front. Here is the back. And there is the spine. And you can see the title again. It's right there. Pet Show. Okay. Can you read the title with me? Pet Show. And this is an exclamation mark. So we're supposed to be excited when we say this. Pet Show. There's not many words on it. I see some letters down here. Hmm. There's the title page. Pet Show. Everyone was talking about the pet show. There's the sign for the pet show. There was going to be prizes, prizes. It was Saturday at 11. The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring ants. I'm going to bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What about you? What are you going to bring, Archie? The cat? Uh-uh, said Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat, Archie called. Anyone see the cat? Archie only looked in the cat's favorite hangouts, while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Do you see a cat anywhere? No cat. Archer, Archie's mother came to the window. Where can that cat be? He asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. Do you see a cat anywhere? I see a drawing of a cat. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You'd better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. So everybody's leaving for the pet show. But Archie doesn't have a pet to take with him, so he cannot go. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. Susie chased Peter. And the show started. Do you see the little mouse? Everyone's trying to get the mouse. And the show already started. Oh no, they're going to be late. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called. They walked up and down, looking carefully at every pet and asking, How old is your pet? And what's your pet's name? Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fish, the yellowest canary, and the busiest ants. The brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. Looks like everybody's getting a prize. But you have to have a pet to get a prize, right? As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, Look! Here comes Archie! There he is. He's coming. Hmm. Hello, you're just in time, a judge said. What's in that bag? My pet. May I see it, please? At that moment, the cat showed up. Do you see the cat now? Where is it? Oh, there it is. But wait a minute. He was looking for the cat. What's in the bag? The other judge called out, a blue ribbon to a, the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. Before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. But that was the cat Archie was looking for. This woman wasn't expecting to get a ribbon. 
What's Archie going to do? What kind of pet have you got in that jar? A germ, answered Archie. Hmm. And what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Al, he said. He has a germ in the jar. We talked about germs. Can you really see germs? No. Are all germs bad? No. The judges, judges whispered to each other. They have the jar. Do you see the germ in there? Mm -mm. A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. Wow. He's got the quietest pet. As everyone was leaving, the old woman came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay, Archie said. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. That was really sweet of him. He spent all that time looking for that cat. The woman got the reward for it, the ribbon, and she still tried to give it back. And he wanted to do something kind for her and make her feel special. That was really nice of him. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. He made a new friend today. He really made that woman feel great. V N. Uh-oh. Wait. Go back. What do you see on this page? There's the cat. And there he is again. It's the same picture at the beginning and the end. All right. It is time to sing our goodbye song. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that you find some special pets that you can keep around and maybe put in a jar and share with a friend or a family member. Okay. It's time to sing our goodbye song. One, two, three. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Hasta luego, hasta mañana. Hasta la vista, mis amigos. Adios, mis amigos, adios. All right, we will see you later. Bye for now. I love you. Mwah. Ew. <laughs> Ciao, Bella.